welcome back. I hope that you, that sounded so weird. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Um, if you're watching this early, I hope you had a wonderful, or late, I hope you had a wonderful day. Um, we're going to talk today about the Natasha Denona Love Palette. That packaging looks like this. It's just a regular uh, metallic -y. Pal uh, packaging it's pink um, the net weight on this is 19.25 grams which is um, point zero point six seven ounces um, you get 15 eyeshadows in this palette so I'm kind of nervous because this is very pink um, I love love Natasha Denona's palettes. I think her eyeshadow is stunning. Um, I own almost all of them except for, I think there's like two of her really big ones that are like 200 and something. Those I don't own. Um, I think that's just a little bit too much money. I mean, not a lot of bit, not a little bit. That's a lot of money. Um, I'm going to use... Um, Sydney Grace. I'm like, is that someone's name? I don't know. Um, but I can never remember. I think it's because I don't use them enough or in any other part of my face. And I've, this is literally the only eyeshadow of, of theirs that I've used so far that I really liked, which is um, Bailey's Bliss. It's just, I think it just goes great with any color like it looks gorgeous um, I'm trying to think <laughs> of what I should do okay so I'm gonna use soul first which is this color here um it's translating a little bit pinker it's translating a little bit pinker on camera than it is to me oh I like having my window open because I love the natural light coming in way better than just my ring light. Um, okay, so this is not, it's coming off pretty pink too. I have to work today, so I have to make this somewhat wearable. Um, that's what I'm getting ready for today. Um, but, you know, I, I bought this palette. I didn't receive it in PR if it, uh, I don't even know. Does Natasha send out PR? I don't think I've seen anyone post this palette sooner than it actually released. Um, the only people I've seen post this that didn't buy it are people that got it from Beautylish, not from Natasha Denona. So I think Beautylish sends out their own personal PR to people, not necessarily... Natasha Denona. So it's getting kind of patchy. This pink is like darker up here and it's not sticking right here. So I don't know what's happening. Let's see. I just, these aren't colors I normally would reach for. I just really liked this palette. I actually got the face one. That was the one I was the most excited for. I got that one first. I'm going to have to throw in some brown because this is like so not me. Um, I'm going to go into my Makeup Geek palette and pick like a really light transition color that I can kind of get in here to warm this up a little bit. But, um, I saw that, like, I literally, I'm that dumb girl that um, doesn't even have to see the palette. I heard Natasha Denona's name and I was like, oh yeah, I'm buying that <laughs> before I even saw it. Just kidding. I really didn't. But I, I mean, that's practically what it is. Um, I was more excited about her face palette than I was really about the eyeshadow palette once I really got my eyes on them. Um, only because I have like a lot of her face products and they're beautiful. They go on so nice. Okay. The only thing I really do not like about pink is I don't want to look like I have pink eye. <laughs> It's just not my usual go-to color. I don't think that I've ever really used pink on my eyes um, till today. 
I'm going into Heartbeat, which is a little bit of a darker color in this palette, which is this one right here. Um, to just kind of darken this up because I'm feeling like it does look like pink eye and I don't want it to. But I've said it before, I'm trying to like kind of go outside my box, stop being such a scaredy cat. It's just makeup and I have to keep telling myself that if I don't like how it looks, I can always try a different color. Um, I really wish I would have got this from Ulta only because if I didn't like it, I could send it, I could take it back. Um, but I don't think I'll be returning it. I think I'm, I think I'm liking it. I think it looks pretty. Um, it kind of goes with what I'm wearing. It's not really bothering me too bad, actually. I think because I'm wearing burgundy. I'm going to warm this up, though. I have to. Um, again, it's with the Makeup Geek palette. And I don't think it's going to work because these pinks are super pigmented. Oh, and I also don't want them to stain my freaking eyelid. So hopefully my P. Louise base prevents that from happening a little bit. Because I don't know. I didn't notice if this said on the packaging that they're pressed pigments. It doesn't say. It just says matte eyeshadows and metallic duo chrome. So... Hopefully it doesn't. Okay. This is about as, um, as much pink and red and stuff that I will put on my eyelids. I don't talk today. When I watch influencers do their makeup, I know they're not going anywhere, right? They're just they're just doing their makeup and they're most likely washing it off and gonna do another video. When I do my makeup, I'm 99.99999% going somewhere. I'm going to work. I'm, I'm gonna be leaving the house. So it's, it's really hard for me to try and... Um, just experiment with colors because I'm not just not going anywhere and not going to not be seen by people. So it makes me just a little bit nervous because people are going to see me. <laughs> It'd be different if I was putting on makeup and I was planning on washing it off, then I probably would be a little bit more brave. But I actually think this actually turned out really pretty. Okay, guys, I'm going to do my eyelashes and uh, I will be back. All right, guys, so this is the look that I have come up with um, using the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Um, I think it turned out really pretty. I didn't go crazy. Um, I kind of made it to try to make, tried to make it um, as wearable as possible with how, um, pink this is, this is, um, I'm feeling like I could go into this and, and open up a little bit more. I really want to try to look with this purple and this one, like somehow make those both an eyeshadow look. I think they're soft enough where they're not uh, unusable and it, you know, for the regular person that isn't a makeup artist, they're not um, so pigmented that you're kind of like, well, what do I do? <laughs> like, it's too much pigment. I, I don't know how to have, how to, to do anything with this. Um, I really like the palette. I think that it's pretty. It's definitely a Valentine's Day palette. If you're not someone that likes to wear pinks or um, reds, you might not like this palette. Um, I was really iffy about it, but it turned out nice. I am not uh, feeling like I want to wash this off and do my makeup over again before I leave the house. So I think if you are definitely open to color, this is a palette for you. If you're more you know, you're not going to get so much so that you're afraid. Like, look how pretty that one is. It's kind of duochrome. 
um, gold and pink. Yeah, super pretty. Um, and there is some neutrals in here, like this one. It's a gold. It's considered a neutral, right? Yeah, look how pretty that one is. Wow. I don't know about that one. That one's way silver. Do I think that it was worth $65? For Natasha Denona, I guess I would say yes. So I'm, I'm glad that she is uh, making her palettes a little bit more affordable. That for sure. So I guess that's up to you guys on your personal preferences. Maybe not. Only because I know that this isn't something that I'll reach for every day. I will reach for something like this every day. So spending 120 bucks on this made sense to me because I will use the crap out of this kind of a palette, this color scheme, because I will integrate this kind of a palette with anything else that I own. So this is definitely not something I can use on its own just because my preferences are purples and pinks. So I guess my answer is no. <laughs> it is not worth $65 because it's not an everyday palette. It's a special occasion. You want to wear pink eyeshadow palette. That's just my opinion. You might wear pink all the time. I don't know. I'm dropping all my brushes. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that you stick around and I hope that you subscribe and ring that bell. And I really hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and a fabulous, marvelous month. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.